Daybell. He's accused of murder and conspiracy and the deaths of his late wife, Tammy Daybell, and his current wife's two children, JJ and Tylee. And back on the stand this morning, Detective Rayer Macio, who is with the Rexburg Police Department. He was at Chad's property in June of 2020 when investigators found the remains of Tylee and JJ. He described what they saw and smelled that day. And be warned, his testimony is graphic. At one point, the judge actually told the courtroom that because graphic images were were going to be admitted as evidence. They were not going to be shown on the court's live stream that was available to the public. And this afternoon, the defense started their cross examination of Detective Hermosillo. Defense attorney John Pryor asked him about when the kids were last seen and when they think JJ was killed. Switching gears, they questioned Hermosillo about his knowledge of Charles, Val Charles Vallow's death. Lori's ex-husband, as well as multiple attempted shootings aimed at Tammy and Lori Vallow's niece's ex-husband, Brandon Boudreaux, and police believe that Lori's brother, Alex Cox, was the shooter. Who do you believe killed Charles Vallow? Alex Cox, okay. Who do you believe took the shot at Brandon Boudreaux? Alex Cox, okay, thank you. Later that evening into the early morning hours of October 10th is when he Googled how to make your AR-15 function in cold weather. So that's why we believe that it wasn't just a paintball gun. We believe that Alex Cox was, was there to shoot Tammy Debo. Pryor says that he plans on re-examining Hermosillo later in the trial and court will resume on Monday.